Let's do it. Melky, you can't really take the lead because you don't know what we're talking about, nope. but no one's seen you on the podcast. Welcome to this morning on some podcast. This is episode shit. I thought I knew 65. Yep. Look at this giant mug. <laughs> I need three hands to hold it. Right. Are you watching this on YouTube yet? You yep. have to be on YouTube because we're getting the lighting right. It should be looking sexy. Today we're talking about how I'm trying to look sexy. Not really working, but I'm getting there. <laughs> 100 days. I'm at like 105 right now. It's actually, I didn't count, but it's more like 130, 140 in terms of days. 100 days of what? Let 100 days of what? Build the tension. Okay. Working build it. Out. Working <laughs> out. Okay. I do a little pump in the morning. Are you chewing gum? I know. I'm kind of sick of it. Spit that out right now. Throw really? No wonder you can't place. walk on the floors here. You complained <laughs> about walking on the floors. You said they're just gross and it's because there's gum on them. Well, that's 100 what days, happens. 100 days of working out. Congratulations. I'm I'm proud of you. You know, I scheduled this just so that you could congratulate me and now we can call it a podcast. <laughs> Belky, I want to talk about everything I learned. Okay. And, you know, you come in not knowing much. I kicked you off or you kicked yourself off <laughs> of the guests because <laughs> you're just a deer in headlights, not knowing what's going on. You'll chime in. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There's so many things before we really kick this off. Weren't we supposed to be reading off reviews? Oh! <laughs> that just peaks so hard. Oh! <laughs> I hope there's got to be some technology that's going to regroup. Let's see what we got for reviews because we're cooking. I mean, the idea... If you leave a review, the idea is we're going to shout you out. Maybe it's funny. Hopefully it's still five stars and funny. Here we go. Review This is from a, one month ago on August 29th. We'll go through the order. We got a couple of clowns. How do I open it up? I can't open it up. I can't read the full title. A <laughs> couple of clowns saying something. Excellent for waking the brain up from the monotony of a nine to five. Listen wow. to these two ramble about things you wish you were talking about. Really makes you think about your career slash choices and about how hard Dylan must have gotten hit in the head in high school hockey. <laughs> Deep. We need more reviews. If that was from a month ago, we need more reviews. Well, we do. We do. I just went chronologically back the oh, deepest. Oh, that's boring. How is this going to work? Right? Is, it, is it not a thing? It might not be a thing. We just read it and it sounded terrible. <laughs> Leave a review. Try and make it funny because, you know, we got Chairman Scout leaving one a month ago. <laughs> What's wrong with you? That wasn't even funny. Who's Chairman Scout? <laughs> Our Kevin? Siobhan. <laughs> All right, that's a disaster. You know, screw that whole segment. Just right. subscribe on everything and leave us a review. Subscribe, leave us a review, Why? tell us how we're doing. Because that's when guests see it and they're like, they're awesome. Yeah. Let's thank get you. into it, Belkin. Thank you. You got to thank them. The power of habit. I think that's where this starts, right? <clears throat> Look at that book. I like how you did the little three camera thing. So It worked out. The power of habit. I read this book. I don't know why I read it. I just stumbled upon it, as with most things in my life. And if we if we read on the clock, right? High school Dylan. I was pretty svelte. You didn't know me back then, but I came in a brown, not looking bad. Just cut the five year anniversary pictures on Facebook. Look decent. Pretty cut. Honestly, I, I always thought so. And then what changed? And then I I think the dining halls got to me. Okay. You just had the rat attack ratty. It came at me hard and I love food. That's the thing <laughs> That's I, I our still, dining hall. The the ratty. <laughs> <laughs> there was a lot, a lot of these just bad, bad people feeding me. And you know, you Gale. talk about peer pressure, Gail. Gail would just shove it right down my throat. And here's the thing. <laughs> here's the thing. It's, Did you have coffee for this one? No, I just haven't talked to people in a Can while. Can you dial yourself back? Jesus. Am I coming in hot? <laughs> <You're> co <laughs> wow, we're both hot. You just clap, so I don't know how hot you are. Okay. So all I'm saying is I can't stop my eating. No, now I can't really hear you. Give it a little more juice. I got the jungle juice. Okay, that's good. So, you know, I like eating, still like eating. I just pounded like the equivalent of three salads and uh, an entire breakfast. I just don't stop eating. So when you're not doing exercise like in high school and you got the three sports, you start, you start turning into a little rumpty dumpty. Where, where did that come from? Rump. Oh, it came from me actually having a big butt. <laughs> a big butt. Yeah. And, and then I just started filling out. I will say, got. in our travels, you're the best eater. Right? Like, uh, you'll just try everything. 
you got some b-roll at china when we're all eating bugs and yeah. uh that's to one extreme but i just mean like if we're walking down the street and we're somewhere new and you've got some change in your pocket like you're gonna try everything we encounter mm-hmm. and that's cool i keep change <laughs> just for that purpose but at college in the dining hall without all of the activities and sports why don't you turn that that phone over i know that's one of my social rules dilemma on the guest sheet. <laughs> god damn so yeah, I, I like eating food, all right? And if we're traveling, <laughs> if we're here, the only thing that balanced me out was that I played a lot of sports. And then, right. you know, you guys are lazy. Belgi can't even throw a Frisbee. So actually, you beat me in tennis the other day. That's really I did. embarrassing. I did. Uh, well, that's your only sport. So that's what I'll hold on to. But basically, you got to you gotta compensate. And so I was tired of being Wait this. Wait a minute. Something doesn't add up here. Mm-hmm. Because you were playing club hockey and club tennis, and when you weren't doing those, we were playing tennis as a group of friends. So, like, that's also one of my lessons. All right, <laughs> this is supposed to be lessons. <laughs> eating, if you don't control your eating, you're not going to lose weight. <laughs> Clearly, let me let me jump in here. There was a time when you did your slow carb diet. <laughs> two th- two things wrong with the slow carb di- slow carb diet. Let me be a <laughs> physicist for one second. Let's talk about conservation of energy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so you would do your slow carb diet, right? And you're like, as long as I'm not eating carbs, I can have as many calories as I want. <laughs> and so in a day, yes, I'll give it to you. You wouldn't eat any carbs. Well, that's also not true. That's not true. But you'd eat 6,000 calories. <laughs> that has to go somewhere. It's conservation of energy. Okay, number two. Number two, you were eating carbs. You just didn't know it. <laughs> you were eating cans and cans of beans and legumes and chickpeas, only to find out months later they're all carbs. Yeah, you know, Tim Woo! Ferriss, my boy, he says, he, he he was saying eat some beans, and I didn't know beans had carbs in them. He also says to do ketamine frequently. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I was eating a lot of carrots and hummus. I would just pound in bags of carrots. Right. So while you were eating healthy things, you were eating thousands of calories yeah. of healthy things. It didn't balance out. Still hasn't really balanced out, as you can probably see. But <laughs> but that's the thing. All right, I learned. Uh, I don't know what to do for diet. I can't control that. I just eat. I just. That's eat. always been my thing. Is like. I'm going to try and be as active as possible. Like, I love food just as much as the next person. It's about moderating it. It's about eating 1,500 calories. Or you have to figure out what your your BMI is and whatnot. But so long as you have a deficit of calories, like, you're not going to gain weight, I think. I I can't do that, though. I just... Yeah. (laughs) I get a whiff. It's over. That's why I got to do the mindless eating, that, that book that's like, hey, put this shit in cookie jars and tuck it away. That's why our little snacks over there. I haven't been buying other shit because if we buy more, it's a buffet. We got to eat lunch. No, 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 no. We just have plain <laughs> ass taste and grease yogurt. Oh, <laughs> my word. All right. We're going to get to habits at some point. <laughs> but you made the biggest stink when I was buying yogurt, Chobani, for this place. I bought all these flavors. I like them. You said No. Too much sugar. I want seven plain Greek yogurts. You know what's left in the mini fridge right now? Seven plain Greek yogurts, nothing else. And I'm the one choking them down. Here's the thing. I like plain green yogurt. Green, green, Greek. <laughs> green eggs and ham. Green eggs and ham. I like plain Greek yogurt. I liked it until I tried your little sugar. Once I get the sugar, it's mm, it's natural sugars. All right. Well, it's from fruit. No more of that plain ass tasting. Tim Greek Ferriss yogurt. says, "Don't eat fruits." I know, and I I love fruit. I just uh, I can't really. Fruit's expensive. I should probably eat fruit. Of. Bananas though. aren't. Mm. But bananas well, also give you cancer. Oh, I probably have I have cholesterol is probably through the roof. I have mm. so many eggs. Yeah. So here's where we're at, right? Okay. I, I'm tired of being Enough this little rumpty dumpty, and you don't want the skinny fat. Like, I, I can put on muscle pretty easily for some reason, probably because I eat so much. What's skinny fat? You know, people that just skinny and they they got like a pot belly. Okay. Like, they got no muscle and a pot okay. belly, which okay. is the worst of everything. Yeah. I didn't want to be that. So, I read this book, The Power of Habit. God, I got to stutter. By Charles Duhigg. And 
I love it because it breaks down all this habit into three simple little steps. You get your cue, you do your routine, and then you reward yourself. Right. <clears throat> and then there's another book. I think it's BJ Fogg, Tiny Habits. That's a good one for like keeping it super small and simple. What's so important is when that cue happens in, in, that, in that habit loop, cue, routine, reward, when the cue happens, you don't get to control the routine. Unless you're conscious. It's just, it's all limbic brain stuff. So you smell the, you, you smell the bacon. Right, right. So it can be the like, negative oh, habits. Bacon. And right. And you eat it and then you feel fulfilled. That's why you got to install vents. You can't be smelling bacon. Close the door. Although bacon's pretty good, but. God, bacon's not it, that good for you. It's tasty. It's tasty it's for tasty. sure. What the hell are we talking about? So the power of habit, I'm like, all right, I want to try and hack the little habit space. I want to start working out like I used to. And I I was never a gym guy. I don't like going to the gym. I don't like going to the library. I just like staying in my room. And that's that. So I'm like, okay, we have this quarantine. Dylan's going to buckle down for quarantine. I'm coming home. I got to look good at the beach. Coming that, home. That's, that's one thing. I think the beach actually motivated me, even though I didn't that's, that's go at all. That's why everyone cuts in the spring. It's, like it's a, powerful. Yeah. If you have to take your shirt off, you're not going to be a little skinny, fat, rumpty dumpty. I got you uh, with your shirt off for the vlog today. Yeah, that, that wasn't a good look. I hope that. <laughs> that was not a good look. We'll just overlay that that video here. I, I always pound like my sandwich, my salad, whatever it is on the train over. So I was, well, there it is. So all I'm saying is I started, I'm like, I'm going to do this habit. I did it for like a month before I even... <laughs> tried to to figure out the reward system which i modified but basically I'd, I'd only be able to eat after i did my little habit we've talked about it before but then i'm like oh let me play with this instagram thing because that's kind of interesting because you get the cue right i wake up and then i can't go downstairs or like start my day until i do my little pump i do my little workout in the morning and you see it every single day you see my crotch shot and then i got a little label yeah, why what the, the day yeah. Is. yeah so i was doing that every day and it just it just stuck. And it stuck because one, I made it super easy. So I'm like, uh, I could do the thing where like you're sore the day afterward. Like people go to the gym three days a week or something. And they're like, the next day they're fucking beat up. You can't do that. This right. guy, Faraz Zahabi, I want to say, he has a good thing. Joe Rogan, I think I mentioned it before, but like you never want to be sore. You're just like playing and you're playing in a way that's effortful. But it should be fun so that you keep doing it every single day. Well, that's like the minimum viable dosage, effective. right? Of, sorry, minimum effective dosage is you want to do the absolute minimum possible to get the gains you want because, like you said, if you push it too hard, uh, so, let me let me take this back. If you do the minimum effective dosage, say it's 15 minutes of working out for five days, how many minutes is that? Let's say four days. It's an hour. Oh, this isn't going to work. It's a bad example. But let's say you push it really hard on Monday and you're so sore you can't work out Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Well, the person that's doing the minimum effective dose is going to go further longer. Right. Yeah. If you can effectively, you 80-20 it basically. You're like 80% of the gains just comes from like 10 minutes of working out. Right. The other 20, 30, 40. Gives you all the, yes, maybe you get more gains in that, in that time, but you also get a lot of the side effects of. Right. Exhaustion. It's marginal and it's marginal yeah. for being sore the next day and you can't work out. So that was what I want to do. Work out every single day as much as I could and just see how long. God, these mugs are sexy. They're huge. They're massive. <laughs> and God. This so you guys. made it. Day 100. God, no. <laughs> Let me build. This is going to end up being my favorite episode. This is terrible. No, it's going to end Two up being my speed, favorite. At least. Uh, I hope there's a three times speed pretty soon on Apple Pod. But basically, like, I, I don't even know my train. Oh, minimum effective dose. Like, going out in the sun, people that sunburn, yeah. that's the most poignant one in my mind. Yeah. It's like, you only need 15 minutes of that's sun. That's what I was trying to say, but. Yeah, the, the rest of the time you're out there for two, three hours, you're just burning. And then you can't go out the next day and get bronze. Right. Then. So, if you, if you tan for 15 minutes a day for two weeks. You're going to be a darker shade, if that's what you're going after, than the person who burned on day two and has been inside for two weeks flaking mm. because they didn't abide by minimum effective dose. 
So that's what I was doing. Minimum effective dose. Mm-hmm. I remember I posted this in a Facebook group and this guy was like, dude, you, you 15 minutes a day, you're not going to get, you're not going to put on muscle. Like that's, that's just not how it works. I'm like, dude, come on, come on now. So uh, here's, here's the roller coaster. But also of the journey, six hours a day, you sit, you're doing nothing, you're eating poorly and you say, you know what, this week I'm going to do, I'm going to work out four hours. Like if it's too much, you just won't do it. You'll you'll break three days later. Right. What, what was that thing about flossing one tooth? Yeah, that's tiny habits. Ha- okay, that's the idea of like everyone complains like, oh, I want to go to the whatever gym four times a week. Why don't you just go once? Yeah, just like make it. And they're like, once, what's that going to do? Like, that's not going to change me. But you're trying to build the habit. Like now, I guess we kind of cut through everything. But now at day one hundred, I'm at a point where it's like it takes willpower not to do it. Mm-hmm. which is crazy to me, but it's, I feel so guilty if I don't do it. And sometimes I don't like if I'm traveling, it gets hard and I'm like, fuck it. Like I, I don't do the streak idea where it's like, Oh, I broke the streak on day 56. I start over. I'm just doing like cumulatively how many days. It's a really big, what is the workout? That's, that's a good question. And my dad's worried about me because I didn't really do much research. I just like in terms of balancing my body. So that's oh, why I got some he's bands. a chiropractor. Right. So that's why he's worried. I'm like, what, what's so worrying about sit-ups and push-ups and resistance? So it's changed. Okay. In the beginning, I made it pretty easy. I do like five sets. What do you call the circuits? Like five Reps? circuits, basically. Uh, okay, circuit. Of yeah. like four or five different exercises. So it'd be like push-ups. And I do this little like wing thing. Snow angel. Snow angels, basically, on my stomach. <laughs> and then I do this little like <laughs> this. Oh, like around the world, maybe? Like yeah, you're on your, it's like meant to do more of the back stuff i don't know i saw navy seals that was the thing yeah. for balancing push-ups okay. so i got two to balance push-ups after that then i do now i do bands so i'll like go across my body oh god I'm, this i hate how hot it is i am sweating bullets <laughs> i feel fine <laughs> okay <laughs> and then i do my squats and then i go down i do these god there's a lot of exercise actually and then i do my legs <laughs> I, I do like these lifts get in the mic I don't, I don't know how to like demonstrate this. <laughs> okay. And then I do one more like a uh, plank type thing. And so it's all balanced out now? I Maybe. I meant what, what's the time constraint here? Oh, it probably takes me like 20, 25 minutes now. But the thing is like whenever, like I knew this habit was going to stick because I made it super easy. And then whenever it got hard, I just made it easier. I'm like, screw this shit. Uh, I got too aggressive. I started adding pull-ups and I'm like, like pull-ups suck. I'm cutting it out. <laughs> I can't do one, so I'm cutting them out. <laughs> Literally. And and so I just like go through these cycles of like, it's too hard for me. I dial it back until like I'm not fucking regretting it. I don't know why I think that's so funny. I don't know either. <laughs> and and like whenever you travel, it gets difficult. So I'm like, stop it. <sighs> I can just... <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> I can just see you laying in bed like... <gasps> Oh, no, that's going to be too hard today. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's more like I'm doing the exercises. And as I'm doing it, I'm like, fuck this. <laughs> You're shaking. <laughs> trying, to, trying to do a pull. Oh, true. Shake. Remember that? Oh. That was really sad. <laughs> that's like someone with, what's that called when your hands shake? Oh, Parkinson's. I, so, uh, yeah. If Dylan, and it, like the last two years of college, we were living together. If you tried to like sit up out of bed, <laughs> the whole room would shake. <laughs> God damn, I had like some uh, what, lessons what organized. Are your lessons? Okay, let, let's uh, talk. What, well, let's see how we're doing on time. Yeah, we got... Uh, I, I feel like we should go into the lessons bit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sweating so much. Holy Tomas. All right, so the, the thing is you can't... Like working out, sure, I'm like stronger. I feel good. Like I, I okay. in a t-shirt, I'm happy as long as it doesn't hug my tummy too tight. <laughs> if it hugs my tummy and I just say it's not good. But that's fine because most shirts don't. But <laughs> why do you have to use the word tummy? I guess I had two T's in a row. Tight tummy. Oh, like that. okay. I liked it. Uh, so why is did this it, hugging your tummy? This shirt. A, a, it, I get away with it. <laughs> God, I keep wanting to make a point, and then you giggle and point at my tummy. Um. Okay, so why did I do working out? <laughs> working out, <laughs> fucking out, is a keystone habit. It's one of those domino habits where, like, you get your workout right, 
and you feel great for the day. That's yeah. why there's some dispute over timing. And I just heard Cal Newport say like, it's more effective later in the day, but for building habits, do it in the morning. Like do everything you can productively before noon. The small stuff. Yeah, whatever it is, just like get yeah. the ball rolling. And that's why it's helped me so much because now the, the rest of the day, I'm like, oh, I'm already 80% there. You are crying. I'm crying with tears. That's why it goes around a lot that that Navy SEAL instructor. Jocko that, Willing? Yeah. That, is that Jocko? The thing about making your bed? No, it's not Jocko. Oh, that's Older another dude. That. Yeah. Gotcha. That was like the first thing for when this became a kick. Like make your bed in the morning. That's the easiest thing you can do to get yourself on the habit kick for the day. Mm. Product- productivity. That's... I mean, that's so natural for me. And I don't, I don't even think about bed. it. Oh, you don't? No, I don't. Really? Yeah. That's fascinating. Yeah. I always... Well, now I don't because I'm sleeping on a couch. <laughs> oh, futon. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right. Let me, so, basically, working out, why I recommend it, why I was able to get to 100 days. <laughs> this shit easy. is so funny. It gets my day rolling. <laughs> oh, my God. We're a disaster. This is an absolute disaster. Let me crank out the notes. I don't even it's remember. It's so funny. It's, people are going to think I'm high. People are actually going to think I'm high. It seems like it. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to mention Instagram and then I don't know anymore. What about Instagram? Well, I was going to say I do it and I think more people should do yeah, it. Yeah, your friend that came on here a long time ago. I yeah. see he's pounding away with his accountability on Instagram for, for his writing habit. Yeah, he's kind of on and off. I don't know what's going on with him. But oh. he, I mean, it's he's like halfway through his, his first book. Oh. So it, it's worked in that sense. I just think he doesn't like Instagram as much as me. Yeah. Maybe because he still sees his friends in person. So he'll get bullied. And why people do are scared people of that bully? Pressure. What's the deal with that? Because they're self conscious. That's what it is, right? It's if you succeed in whatever you're doing, whatever you're kicking it at, then you make them look bad. And if you fail, then it's I told you so, I was right kind of deal. I don't like that. I wish people were more supportive of, of people in their habits what what other lessons you got <laughs> um i had a whole list where where is say this, this whole sheet oh well, that's the thing okay here's one good video that i liked a lot that's relevant to this okay. episode noah kagan he has his little rule it's the rule of 100 and before you give up on anything Make it to 100. So 100 iterations of whatever it is, working out, podcast, we're on like 65. We're almost there. But you, you shouldn't even consider giving up because you, you don't have a large enough sample size mm-hmm. to have tested everything. You, you get enough feedback from people seeing it in different places. And now that I'm at 100, like 100 was like now it seems I'm not worried about breaking this habit ever because it's just like there's so much momentum going. I'll just, or I'll get super depressed if I do. Super depressed what? It'll be a death spiral. <laughs> I don't know what would happen because it's just so fundamental to like making my day successful that I almost fear what would happen if you took it out. I'd just be a little jelly munchkin on the couch all day. Although I'd probably come into work earlier or work, whatever you call this. Got here at 2.30 today. God, I think that was it. I don't know. I had like a ton of stuff. We just kind of giggled. I don't think any lessons came out of this. Basically, anyone anyone can hack habits. One, you got to read the power of habit and just make it super easy, whatever you're doing. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> I, so I, I don't know what it is today. I don't know. There's no balance anymore. It's going to the extremes of there's no nonsense on my interviews. <laughs> and we get to this and it's only nonsense. There's not even a lesson. I don't think anyone's taken anything out of this. There's got to be. This just like, you're going to be fat if you eat a lot. That's all I've learned. <laughs> no, the accountability thing. You got to talk more about the accountability thing. Okay, that's good. Well, that's that's the thing. They're, the guy I talked to yesterday, I, I <laughs> always want to say Robbie Crab Apple, yep. but it's Robbie Crab Tree because yes. you keep feeding me yeah. Robbie Crab Apple and I don't like it. But he has Brandon Jung. I always want to pronounce it Zhang, but Jung. That'd be very uh, white. Yeah. But both of them, they're their little, every morning they have a, like a, a little call and they just write together on the call. They don't talk oh. to each other. They're just on Zoom, just typing away. They'll do like a, oh. a debrief and a little like pre-brief. They're before. writing their own personal stuff. Right. Okay. But they're just but they're like, on a video call. Yeah. So it's just like, oh, you're being productive. It's like us in the office. 
even though all I hear is you giggling and like doing a little Photoshop stuff, which isn't. I'm not sitting in there giggling alone. (laughs) Yeah, you are. (laughs) So you have some accountability, but it's really hard, especially in quarantine when you're alone. I tried it actually with our friend Luke. I was like, Luke, let's do like a workout every morning or something. And it's just difficult to coordinate. I was like, fuck this. I don't want to, I don't do this. So I'm just like, I need some accountability here. Use the internet. Like the social dilemma, the scary side that we talked about in like episode 60 Mm -hmm. or whatever. That's the bad side, but use the tool side, like the good tool. Use the hammer to to build a a habit house. That's the thing. Like if you want to stop drinking, it's not going to happen if you just walk around the house like, "Mm, I'm going to drink less. But if you post to Facebook every single day, didn't have a drink today, didn't have, you know, like with that level of accountability, I think you'd be much better off. What was interesting too, was it, you have the accountability of like 200 people see it every day and... Now they're like, oh, interesting. Dylan's doing something. Clearly, uh, I think people think I'm still jerking off or something every day. And I'm just the, the, the photo is always through your legs. Yeah. My one of my friends, one of my old coworkers keeps messaging me. He's like, oh, there's another crotch shot. Be like, <laughs> dude, your crotch is sick. Like, we don't want to see it. And I have the same song playing on because I don't want to, like, use any of my hundred decisions a day. I, I like think it's a bar of decisions, basically. Mm. Um so just keep it like simple. That's my accountability. And I think more people should do it in general, whatever habit. Like I tried it originally with writing. I made it to day 30, but I was like, I, I hate writing. Like yeah, I, I'd went, do the little cartoon thing or something and I'd write at the same time. What went wrong there? I don't know. I, I didn't pay enough attention to it. I think I was more focused on working out that I didn't crack the code. Mm-hmm. But I tried to do it super simple, like two sentences or something like that. And you couldn't keep that up? I probably could if I circled back to it but writing is not a concern anymore but that one's been tougher to crack yeah so i don't know i think that's the thing though working out is so fundamental and it's one of those keystone habits that you should get that out of the way first and it'll just be feeling good all the time now it's like if if i wasn't working out and i ate some shit like i ate a lot of eggs i'd be like um do you see that as a problem though that you maybe in your mind you work out and then you're like Oh, I worked out so I can eat, eat, eat. And you kind of can do an extent for like 60 to 90 minutes after working out. But I think that's a problem a lot of people have is they work out hard. As a, this doesn't have a whole lot to do with habits. But then you eat like four Oreos and well, yeah, that's the thing. it's all out the door. I think you eat more, but then some of it goes to muscle. So like, that's the thing. You're not going to lose your stomach unless you... We're not scientists. True. Good disclaimer. <laughs> At the end. <laughs> Clearly. We're just experimental lab rats. And yeah, I think you're going to eat more because that's just the way it is. But I love eating. So like I have no issue with that. <laughs> I just want to pound food all the time. The only time I don't eat is when I get in a little brain blast and then I just stay up for mm-hmm. like 72 hours and don't consume calories and drop 10 pounds. Hmm. But that's not healthy kind of either. Hungry. Yeah. Well, I didn't buy any snacks. You so. got any other lessons? I could have sworn I had a bunch. I see bad. What was so bad? Uh, not eating less or healthier. I just kind of pound like a lot of bread and stuff. <laughs> Hamburgers, five guys, whatever it is that goes in me. Uh, balance. That's the thing. With a lot of diets, I guess they're effective, but they suck. They suck. It just sucks to go and be like, ah, I can't eat bread. And you got to like modify the menu. You're always thinking about it. It just takes up a lot of decision space. Or if I'm like, oh, I just have my routine in the morning. I don't think about it at all. I just bang it out and then I eat whatever I want for the rest of the day. It's kind of dope. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't think diets work. Nobody's on a diet uh, sustain- sustainably. Yeah, why do you? Why are you so skinny? What's going on? Because you don't really work out. You just go on your little walks and then eat your... I go on a walk and then I work out for 15 minutes. Oh, you do? Yeah. I haven't been to why a gym. Why are you good at that? I haven't been to a gym in nine months. What do you? What do you do? YouTube videos. <laughs> My workout is I watch YouTube. <laughs> no, I work out with someone working out on a YouTube video. Ah, uh, it's like a full body thing, just to like you know, keep up that habit. Ah, uh, but why are you good at it? Because you've always been good with your your little little legs running around. Yeah, campus. I never had an issue with that habit. I don't know. I I think it's because it's so fundamental to my happiness, especially in college. It was an awesome habit where I would work, work, work all day long. And then we've talked about this in terms of shutting down. I would go work out at like 9, 10 p.m. And that was it. 
that was my mm-hmm. shutdown. After, you know, going to that workout and after there was no more schoolwork and work work to be done. Um, so it kind of capped the night for me, but it's also a great way to start the day just in terms of like energy and endorphins and stuff. Mm. It also, I mean, there are two arguments with the, the latter. Usually they'll be wired for an hour, but then you're tired and like you sleep more peacefully right. after. Right. That's, that's the thing with everything. It's like people, I remember P90X came out and my hockey coach did it and it's funny because it was effective, but like the minute he hit day 90, he was like, fuck this, I'm out. And it's like, are you trying to just look good for three months and then the right. rest of your life you're going to look like crap? Right. Whereas I think the way you approach habits, the way I do is like, I, I thought I'd stop at day 30, but it's just like, why would I stop now? It's a marathon, not a sprint. That's what it is. <laughs> I would rather work out a little bit for my entire life then in like three months spurts when you know my weight's doing this we call it the yo-yo diet mm. i do want to play hockey or like some i've been like running upstairs and stuff like <laughs> that's that's some uh, someone said this i don't know where one of the podcasts i listen to but they're like the sign that you're old is you no longer jump like huh. when do you see an old person jump yeah and i i love doing little parkour bouncing off things what are we jumping for though just like I don't jump much anymore. Like I, I do like moving quickly upstairs, like okay. they just look okay. light on their the feet. Bounce, yeah. There's a bounce to them. Yeah. And yeah, I you, jump downstairs. When you lose okay. that. That's, that's a great point. So I want to keep that bounce. I'm, I'm thinking like I can't remember the last time my parents jumped. And it's always like uh, an adult jumps to like grab something oh. and it's like the goofiest thing ever. You gotta see this. I don't know where this slick rick video is. I'll have to go deep in the archives. We'll put it on YouTube. Wow. So my dad, he is Slick Rick. He's a fucking beast. Let me tell you, we got, I don't know where his gene pool went, but I didn't get it. You guys he's just look a identical. Savage. No, no, but he's a savage. Okay. So we're like, we'll Ex- go and do. Unless you're in Cuba. Uh, no, he, that was Which is by definition savage. a savage. Yeah. I was a little softy. But we, we went to New Hampshire and we'd go on these little uh, like cliff, cliff diving and like just like do wild shit. Uh, just as you do in New Hampshire. And so there's like, how do I describe it? There's like a big boulder, right? And it's probably like 10 feet off, 10, 15 feet off the ground. And there's a, there's a rock face. So it's a big rock face and it's like a 30 foot jump. And so we would dive off the 30 foot and Slick Rick gets on like the 15 foot boulder. And I don't know how, but there's like a, like a six foot gap between the boulder and like this main face. I don't know if you're picturing it. So there's a, a giant face right okay. here. Or picture this. Okay. So we're on a rock right here. Yeah, just here. talking to your mic. Why we're don't you bring it with right you? Here. Bring it with you. Yeah, yeah. We're on a rock right here, and then you got like a six foot gap to the wall right there. And that wall you can jump off the top. It's massive. So we were diving off of that. Slick Rick gets on this boulder. And he That's right here. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And like without hesitating, we're like, what are you gonna do? He's like, I'm gonna try something. He runs, jumps, like clears the six foot gap, bounces off the wall and backflips into the water. It, it was, I don't know what the hell monkey man shit that was, but he was like a 58 year old man. And you're saying he could jump. He still had some bounce in him. He, there's a skateboard. It, it's called, some, that trick is called something. When you like skateboard off a wall. And oh, Tony Hawk stuff. Yeah. But So he but jumped like, off the boulder. I've seen it before where you like run along the wall and then bounce off. But he ran, cleared a gap, hit the wall, and then backflipped off as an almost senior citizen. You can, you can do backflips, though. I, I never do that. Almost I, senior citizen. It was also like eight feet deep, and like he had to bounce back towards the boulder. I thought I was going to have to bring home a dead man, and I couldn't drive at the time. He's a fucking <laughs> savage. Maybe, maybe, with the power of your habits... You will be jumping off rock faces into eight foot water. I hope. I got to move my little legs. Old. I just added squats in because I saw my little chicken yeah. legs. I'm like, yeah. I can't look like Belky. I have major chicken legs. I don't believe in leg day. I don't know if I ever will. That's one thing I can't get the habit <laughs> down for. It's leg day. God, we suck ass. Let's get out of here. I want to play tennis, though. We should play more tennis. This yeah, was, I'll beat you. Oh, 35 minutes. I'll That's not you. bad. We're always around 35. So subscribe on YouTube. That was nonsensical. One of the most nonsensical. That um, might have been 
<laughs> that's the thing. If you're not friends with us, that's probably the worst episode you ever listened no, to. No, it's funny. And tomorrow we are talking about the inner game of tennis. Speaking of tennis, mm. uh, about how to keep your mind clear in tennis, in golf, in life. Let's uh, let's play some tennis. Let's record I- it on the tennis court. <laughs> Bring all play this. Before? Can you play before? We'll be sweating. I'm, I'm going to make you work. Maybe we'll use it after and then report back on the next episode. I'm winning. Leave a review. Are we doing the review read or no? It's gone. I don't know. I think everyone's gone. No one's listening anymore. That was episode 65. I think we talked about habits. I'm not sure. Hopefully you learned something. Just go out and do it. Read the power of habit and then you'll be motivated. Start small. Start really small. Really, really small. And be like Slick Rick. Peace. Peace.